Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the fourth process problem, Rodolf and Christmas tree. So let's read the problem statement first and understand it. Like we are given an identical triangles, branches at different heights, and we want to calculate the ink required to make this Christmas tree. Okay. So how can you see that? Like if there are three branches, this branch, this branch, and this branch. So we are given the base and the height, okay? And we also given the branches located at certain heights. Okay, this one is at one, this one is at four, and this one is at five. Okay. So for first triangle, we will directly add the area. And what is the area of this triangle? Half base into height. So what will be this half? Okay. Base is four. Height is two. So the area of this triangle will be four. Okay. So four is the area for this triangle. Now we will get get the second triangle. So for second triangle, we will check the height of previous triangle. Okay, height of the previous triangle, and height of the previous triangle is one here. Okay, and current height is the four. So we will calculate the difference. Four minus one. This is the difference here. Okay. So this difference is three here, and we will check. We will check if this difference is greater than the height of the triangle or not. Okay. So here, this DF is greater than three. Sorry, three not three H. H is two here. Okay, so three is greater than two. So we will not do anything. We will directly add the four again. The area of the triangle. Okay. So what is this now? It will be eight. Now again, we have the triangle this. So now we know there is a difference. Like we will add DF. Okay, DF we will calculate five minus four. It is one here. So one is less than two. So whenever this condition hits, what we will do? We will calculate the area which it superimposed. So the current area of the triangle will be four. And what we will subtract? We will subtract half. To difference, difference is what one, and we also want to know the how, like, what is the base length? Okay, so base will be the twice of the covered area. Okay, so here one, it is two. So four minus one is equal to three. So we will add three here. That will be our answer. Okay. Hope you understand this solution. Like this video. Subscribe the channel. Thank you.